guys and welcome back to our channel so obviously this is another episode of our antiguan kitchen and we have a really good one for you guys today what are we making mom yes today we're making goat water goat water uh, goat Yay. soup oh, goat stew. i'm kidding it's not hot. <laughs> it's goat water <laughs> Goat water. Yes, and vegan style goat water. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it um, is a pretty popular like Saturday afternoon, Friday afternoon soup, right? Um, it's delicious. Everyone loves goat water. Yes, that's when we used to eat it. Yes, when we used to eat it, yeah. we used to like. I even like just this, the aroma of it yeah. being cooked. It's so nice. Yeah, it's so nice. I remember it smelling. Very good and tasted also very good, but we don't eat that yeah. anymore. And again, different country call it different things. Okay. So if you hear us saying Antigua style, this is the way here in Antigua how we make it. Yeah. So don't be offended that we say Antigua because yeah. Yes, because yeah, we, we, we know that in different islands they call it different things. So we're just saying Antiguan style. So yeah. that you know it's particular to our nation here. But go ahead, mom, tell us a little bit about what goes into making this dish. Well, um, goat water is a very savory stew, it has a lot of seasoning that you know it's, it, it's the smell alone, you yeah. know, not just the goat meat. Um, mutton, because goat meat is called mutton for those who don't know. Okay. Yes, it's about the cloves and the celery and you know those things that have the flavor going so this is what we're going to be you know doing today yeah so it's an awesome stew for those of you <laughs> who are abroad and miss your goat water maybe you can make it and yeah. when we were living in the states we yeah, bought we goat meat we went to the supermarket yeah it was a it was a caribbean supermarket yeah it was a caribbean and supermarket got, you know Goat meat, the, goat meat. The, the, the one that is the, the chopped up, the bones with the bones included, yeah, that is the one that you want to make the stew with because people love sucking out those bones. marrow. Oh, yeah, huh, yes, yeah, sucking out that marrow to that bone uh -huh. and chewing on that bone and mm -hmm. dipping your bread in that stew, yeah, yeah, all that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's, I mean, something that maybe you can access in your own country as well, yeah. But, anyways, if you're interested in. And learning how to make this antique and stab goat water. Keep on watching. Here is two pounds of, uh, roughly about two pounds of mutton or goat meat. And so we're going to put it to boil or to pressure uh, um, for about maybe um, half an hour, 45, maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. Okay, so we're going to put this in the pot. Oops, sorry. Put this in the pot and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just add some of these you know so it makes a good stock because we're going to need this um stock for the goat water so we're gonna put this to boil right now in the pot um it's just about a quarter of water this water should be enough to um pressurize So we have here the seasonings that we're going to use in the goat water today. And so we have some celery leaves. We have some size. Oh, uh, well, how do we put Chive. It? Chive. Oh, uh, yeah, some chive. We have some chive. And we have an onion, a pepper, green pepper. And we have some seasoned pepper, seasoning pepper, and garlic, and we also have some thyme. So we're going to cut up these items um, in preparation for the goat water. So here we have the, the fresh um, seasoning. We have some chopped thyme, garlic, onion, sweet pepper the seasoned pepper, um, the chives, and the celery, celery. So this is for the goat water. So in preparation for the goat water, we're going to go ahead and we're going to saute the fresh vegetables and we're going to put the, um, 
the, the base of the goat water together. So the, the, the goat is um, almost finished, well it should be. It's, it seems to be a little tough, so we still have it on the, the, in the pressure cooker uh, pressuring. But, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do the base, which is the um, saute the vegetables, the fresh vegetables and made the browning, add the browning and make the water sort of thing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now, okay? What we're going to do, we're going to add some sugar. I don't know how many of you know that before they were browning or in the old time days, they used to use sugar to make browning when they are not able or can't afford to buy it. They used to just burn it on the fire. So we're going to use some um, sugar to give us um, to make actually make some browning. We have the regular browning, but this browning is going to add a flavor to the goat water. So here we have, we have some salt, black pepper, bay leaf, clove, I pung, pung the clove, or ground, so it looks grounded, and this is some base, and some um, basil, uh, basil. Okay, so that one. Browning. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to add the water. So I just um, took off the meat and as you can see the meat has been cooked. I cooked it in some um, onion and so, so, so I can have a, a good um, soft broth to um, add to the goat water. So this is going to be add to that little, to the pot once the pot is boiled. I come to a boil. Okay, so yeah, pot a boil here. Let me see if I can taste it before I put in the meat because after I put the meat in, there's no taste in for me. Okay, taste, you know, salt is salt enough. I don't want to put in an over salted. So I'm going to add the goat meat. Put all the water in first, and then I'm going to so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm gonna leave it to boil in again for a little bit, and then I'm going to add the roux. Now roux is flour and water, and that is. Um, to thicken the sauce, to add a little thickness to the sauce. So let me cover this and allow it to boil for some more. So what we have here is the roux, and we are going to add the roux right now.
ますね。ちょっと怖いです。Okay, so we are back and we have the complete soup. And we have a little bread, and so Ben is going to be our taste tester because she's the only one who eats meat. I don't know why we need to bring this up, <laughs> yes. but you know, yeah. that's the situation. So I was smelling this from my bedroom, and I'm obsessed with goat water. So let's see. And I love it with bread, but I want to taste it separately first. Okay. It smells so nice. It's mm. so, yeah. Oh, you wish you could eat me? No, I don't. Know. But I just, I just have to say it smells nice. Yeah. It looks a little dark. What do you think? But yeah, it could be lighter. It's really hot. It's making me not really get the same as well. It's very seasoned because I'm accustomed to having my pepper pot hot with spice. This is not pepper pot, Bendy. Sorry. Go. What? Wrong stew. Wrong stew. Wrong stew. <laughs> so I'm accustomed to have my goat water with pepper. Can you know me taste oh. the spice of it? That's what. Mm. I, that's what I was waiting for. But instead of pepper, I got more seasoning, mm -hmm. which. You know, we people like our food properly seasoned. So, mommy, good job. For a person who don't eat meat. <laughs> I think so. I didn't taste it either, so. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna close it, sorry. Yes. I'm kind of hungry, so, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to devour as I go. Mm -hmm. But, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. <laughs> Yeah. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, tell us what you want us to do next, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.